Better Kansas City, we have a yummy Friday in store for you. We have two versions of sliders. One has a beer glaze and also, well, this one's not edible, but we're previewing a local company that's making plant-based perfume, which is very interesting. But first, we're giving plain old mugs an upgrade with the help of nail polish and right. oh so lovely blogger Audrey Keither. This will take us less than five minutes. Yes, fastest DIY project ever. All you need is... Nail polish and a ceramic mug, or anything ceramic. It's better, it works better on like a more porous ceramic. Okay. And I will know I got everything at the Dollar Tree. So dollar a pop, even the nail polish. So beautiful. Okay, so what you're gonna want to do is you get a throwaway container. You're obviously not gonna want to use this for any food after, but you fill it with warm or hot water actually works better. Okay. So I got us both one, and you pick your favorite color combination. I'm gonna make one for my daughter Viv because she asked me to. I okay. promised her. Am I making one too? At the I'll same make time? one first, and how about you? And then, then you I'll, make your I'll second watch one. And learn. Yes, it's really easy. Okay. You'll, you'll pick it up quick. You're like Yoda, <laughs> and I'll be watching. Okay. So you're slowly dipping in. Your first layer of polish. Does it matter what brand? No, it doesn't. It don't do quick dry because that will kind of hinder the, it won't work as well, but this cheap version works perfect. So just kind of. And you're just pouring it into warm water? All you're doing is yeah, pouring water? it in. Mm -hmm. Try and kind of span the whole length of the water. And How maybe... did you realize you could do this? Can well, you... I have seen it done online. I actually did do some on some flower pots a couple years ago, but I had never tried the mug before. And I, I like to use my mugs, you know, for like pencil holders and all sorts of things because these are hand wash only, I would like to mention. So, you know, you could drink out of them if you'd like, but, okay, so then you take your, oh wait, I'm sorry, you get your toothpick. Mm -hmm. So this, you can either drop it in as it is now, or you can take your toothpick and kind of swirl, swirl it around a little bit and kind of mix this together. And then you just take your mug, put it in on the side, and it starts to oh, kind cool. of attach. And it kind of marbleizes. This one's kind of a 3D texture looking one. Yeah. And then you could do another layer after that. So. On this one, I did, um, I swirled it a little bit more together and it kind of is a little bit more flat, as you see here. So if you're drinking out of it, you want to make sure yeah, you don't, don't get Yeah, don't put your mouth inside. anywhere up here. So I yeah. try to always try and stay a little bit below that. Uh-huh. And you did flower pots like this? Yes, flower pots, because um, cool. they're really good because they're porous and ceramic. So, you know, you could get something kind of cool and textured like this. And I then love that. You set it off and it usually dries within a minute or so. And, and then, then you're good to go? Yeah, and then you're good to go. That'd it's that easy. That's such a good Mother's Day present. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to make everybody. one for my sister-in-law for her birthday, actually. I'm gonna and you can wear coral. gloves, I would like to know, because um, sometimes you do get polish on your hand. Should I be wearing gloves? No, I think you'll be okay. I'll help you out. <laughs> That's the cue for it to be like... <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of polish right. on my hands last this night as I was doing this. Yeah, just kind of swirl it around. I'm going to do double. I'm going to two-hand this. Perfect. So I'm doing coral and peach mm -hmm. Yeah, colors. it's nice to kind of get colors that kind of coordinate together. And on this one, we don't even need to use the toothpick.